Authorities seized over $6 million worth of marijuana and over half a million dollars worth of Canadian cash at the port of entry in Portal, North Dakota. Uh, U.S. Customs and Border Protection Office of Field Operations Officers at the Portal Port of Entry targeted a commercial shipment that had arrived in Portal on Thursday. Officers inspected the shipment uh, manifested as plastic containers to discover 3,765 pounds of marijuana within the shipment. Customs and Border Protection has a multi-layer enforcement posture with excellent work performed by officers to identify, refer, and in inspect this shipment, said Portal Director James Rector. This interdiction keeps narcotics from entering the United States and reinforces the important uh, border security mission uh, CBP officers have in keeping our country and communities safe. The teamwork involved in this seizure was outstanding. Uh, Homeland Security Investigations and Burke County Sheriff's Department were contacted and responded to assist. The marijuana has an estimated value of of more than six million dollars. Now, in another bust at the uh, same port of entry in Portal, uh, over six hundred forty-five thousand dollars in Canadian currency was seized. Uh, this is also on Thursday. Uh, officers uh, working passenger operations at the Portal Port inspected a passenger vehicle entering the port of uh, entry. Inspection of the vehicle led to the discovery of six thousand uh, forty-five six hundred forty-five thousand two hundred forty-five dollars in unreported Canadian currency. It was seized. A CBP conducts enforcement operations to protect against unreported importations of bulk U.S. currency, which often can be proceeds from alleged illicit activity or currency that funds transnational criminal organizations, said Portal Port Director James Rector. Individuals are permitted to carry any amount of currency or monetary instruments in and out of the U.S. However, if the quantity is more than $10,000, they will need to report it. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.